Hey everyone, Azra here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a bonus tutorial, but uh, yeah, this step isn't required for the uh, weapon porting tutorial. But for those that want to create their own normal maps, ambient occlusion maps, or uh, glossiness maps, we can use a program called Bitmap to Material by Oleg Rhythmic, and uh, it it creates all the texture maps that we could need for a PBR rendering system just from the color map. And to do this, we just simply set our outputs first. We, d we are not going to use the roughness map, and we do not use the metallic map. What we do need is the glossiness map, the normal map, and the ambient occlusion map. So once we have those set, we can just go to our textures and drag in the color map. So I'll do the ballista's body. And then once you let go on the base color, click on load in main input tweak and straight away you can see that it's applied it to our cube here and then if we go to the glossiness tab it has created a glossiness map for us if we go to the normal tab we can see it's created a normal map as well and an ambient occlusion map you can easily tweak all these by going over to the side and clicking on the tab for that uh, map and changing it so if we wanted to make the ambient occlusion map a bit darker we can just change the Y value all the way to 1, like that. And then for the normal map, if we have a proper normal map that the game has exported, then we can go to Relief and then go um, drag it in. So that's body in, drag it in and then go load in normal optional tweak. And then under Relief, we can go Relief input from normal input and then change the relief input opacity all the way as, until uh, until we like. But I think I'll leave it at around 0.2 just because I like all the bumpiness that their, um, that their normal map has. And then for the glossiness map, I generally don't touch this because it looks all right uh, with its default values. And then here we can also change the output size so the original textures are, let's see, the original textures are 1024 by 1024. So here in the output size, we can change that as well. And then what we can do is right click on each map and go save as bitmap. And then we can um, change the type here to TIFF and I'll change, I'll, I'll save this as body G and save it in the TIFF folder and save this one as body N and I'm going to replace the official one because I like this one more and then I'm going to save this as body AO and replace that as well. So then if I go back to the asset property editor and let, let it uh, set up again, you can see when I zoom in a bit that it now has a bit more roughness to the weapon and um, if you don't like how much roughness it's added, we can go to the material and then change the height scale from one to maybe 0.6 and you can see it decrease the amount of height it added to it. I go there and change it back to one. You can see it, it added a bit more. And yeah, we can do that for each of the textures and yeah, just try and make your weapon look nicer than it already does. So yeah, that was just a little tip, um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, you can use all the textures that Wraith exported, but if you do want to make it look a bit better you can do this.